Hi, Fire Signs. Welcome to your weekly reading, December 30th through the 5th. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you knew, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We're going to look at the weekly energies for you in love, life, and advice. And then we'll clarify with Tarot. So, it's a quick little energy check-in. And it may not... Um, be something that may actually play out this week could just be messages you need to hear at this time so only take you what you feel resonates uh throw away the rest i guess so let's see what's going on with the fire signs welcome everybody welcome in hope everybody's doing well hope you had a great christmas happy new year hope you have a great new year so let's see what's going on with the fire signs december 30th through the 5th love life and advice let's see What's going on with you guys? You can check the description box below. Tons of stuff down there. Uh, all the playlists for all the fire signs are there, as well as decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. Tons of stuff down there, so feel free to check that out. So what's going on with the fire signs and love at this time? Ooh, a letter. Ooh, we got, do we have a love letter coming in? Somebody thinking about sending a love letter? Hmm. We have 27.9, which is, uh, 9 is about an end, coming close to an ending, or um, can be wishes and dreams coming true, but we have the 7 of swords energy, which can be kind of um, kind of a sneaky energy, so I don't know, let's, let's read a little bit here, bit here about this letter, see what it has to say, and it says... I am a document, I am a message, I am information, I am a package. Sometimes I can be an invoice or a certificate or a test result. You can find me as your mail, a newsletter, or an award. Look around me to find out more of what I am leaning toward. So, hmm, some kind of letter, or document, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what that means. So let's see what's on the bottom. And we have the compass here, which is 42, and that's six. So that's about going into a more balanced, healed place, leaving BS behind. So let's see what the compass has to say. Number 42. Compass. I am here to help you find your way. If there is a journey to be taken or a choice to be made, I can provide you with directions and a path so you don't stray. So some be, may be deciding whether or not to send a message out, a letter out, or something like that. But we're going to clarify with the tarot to see. Uh, that is about love, so I'm not getting like documents or anything like that. But you never know. So when we get into the tarot, we'll see. I just feel like some are indecisive about sending a letter or a note or a text or an email or something like that you may have wrote it out and then not sent it edited it again and then not sent it and then you know that kind of energy so let's see let's see if somebody I feel with the seven of swords down there can be about you know not being honest or self-deceit or deceit maybe somebody wasn't being honest about how they feel and now they want to express themselves, but they're indecisive about how to send it, when to send it, if they should send it. So we'll see. So in life here, we have Artemis, guardian. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. And <laughs> looks like Sagittarius right there. Wow. Okay. And we got the fire there with Sagittarius. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Freya, be bold. Unleash your adventurous side, take risk, and be daring. So, and you see this person is like getting ready to like shoot that arrow to like hit a mark, make a mark on something. And this is telling you to be bold, to take a risk, and be daring. That you are safe, you and your loved ones are safe and protected. Spiritually, passed over loved ones. Somebody's guarding you, fire signs. All right, so let's get your advice for the week. Advice for the week for the fire signs. And if you're new to my channel, you can check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe. I do a lot of different readings a month. I just started doing these element weekly readings. Um, 
So if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. It'd be greatly appreciated. So let's see what we have for your advice. We have Green Tara, Supreme Protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation and trust. So this is telling you to trust the process, to have trust and faith. Um, again, with this divine protection coming through. And cords are being cut. So, hmm. We have here Rada, Soul Flame. We discover a lost part of yourself, experience relationship harmony and healing. Some could be dealing with a soul flame, the saying or soulmate, soul flame, or healing uh, relationships. All right, so let's see what's going on here. All right, and I feel like if it's a soulmate kind of energy, that it's divinely protected here. All right, and I'm getting a lot of this greenish kind of color, which is the hot chakra color, greenish blue kind of color. Actually, blue, like blue is the hot chakra, or is it green? Oh, I don't remember now. Okay, so let's see what this compass and letter is about for love. Oh, manifesting a new beginning, so... Wanting to manifest a new beginning here in love or something. So, oops, let's see what we have here. So we have the moon. Again, uh, that could be, again, with secrets and not being honest. And that kind of energy and not really seeing how things will turn out. Uh, you can't really see in the moonlight. And my cat is coughing right under the camera. So, <laughs> sorry about that. So now you have... The fool, so wanting to take a leap of faith here. But I feel like with the moon energy, you're not quite clear how to get this started, how to take this leap, how to start to manifest this forward. And I feel like it's starting with a letter, but you're not quite sure how to do it, how to send it, how to write it, what you should say. Just being honest and truthful here. The Ace of Swords, a brand new beginning based on truth and clarity, sort of victory kind of energy. Eight of Swords, just stuck up in your head. All stuck up in your head. Like you can't get out of this blockage. Like, oh, okay. Justice. So bringing justice to a, to a situation here by, I'm getting like a letter of confession, like really confessing how you feel, being open and honest as with the Ace of Swords there. If it's not this new beginning, moving forward and taking that leap of faith. If you can get stuck out of your own head and your thoughts. Um then, you know, can have truth and justice in this connection, this relationship, starting to manifest it forward. But you have to take that leap here, but not seeing quite clearly how to do that. So somebody wants to send out, sent out, send out a message, and they're not quite sure how to do that. But I think just being open and honest here, uh, get this ball rolling. As you see, he's like in this uh, rolling whatever that is. All right, so over here we have um, to take a risk. So yeah, you're holding back here from taking some sort of risk. Hmm, okay. Now that's a four of cups, I'm sorry. So you're feeling bored, complacent, just blah. And this is telling you to be bold and take some sort of risk. The sun. So to your happiness and joy, whatever that is for you. Something that makes you happy, lights up your world. Um, so let's see what do we have here. But stress, worry, anxiety about this. All right. Knight of Pentacles. So slow, practical approach here. I mean, this could be towards a new relationship. This could be towards uh, something you've been wanting, something you've been wanting to try, to do, whatever here. Um, it's telling you to go for it. You have the energy of wanting to do it. To, but taking a slow, practical, smart approach, but still you have stress, worry, anxiety, but yet you're feeling bored and you just want to move slowly towards your happiness. Something that'll make you happy, but you want to be very stable, secure, and doing that uh, smart and practical. But then you got the Knight of Swords energy, like rushing in and being reckless. So you got two energies here, like two opposing energies. Like you want to rush in to something, but then... 
you take a smart practical approach and then you feel like you want to rush into something it's like a lot of back and forth energy here so let's see eight of cups energy yeah so again you know walking away from something that's not serving you but walking to something more fulfilling so it's telling you to take a risk here to walk to that thing that you feel is more fulfilling for you whatever it is for you that will bring you the happiness you want if you can balance your energies out of like rushing in but no you know and then you hold back and you're more smart practical about it but then again stress anxiety and feeling complacent and bored and blah so but this is telling you to be bold and take that risk so if you could take that risk and you know walk towards something else here that would make you happy um, you do have the sun right in the middle there, which is the best, like the best card in the tarot deck. Happiness, joy, success, healing, enlightenment, uh, happy home and family, success and victory. All right. So what is this over here? Supreme protection. So you have the two of swords. So being indecisive about something here. Indecisive. Need to make a decision. Something burdensome here. Needing to lay down a burden. That is too heavy. The Hierophant. So it could be about a marriage, something you're committed to. <clears throat> could be relationships, marriage, work. Something here that uh, your feeling is just too burdensome and now really making, needing to make a decision about this. But you're protected through this. Just know that, that from spirit, passed over loved ones. Okay, so, and it's all about relationship harmony. So what do we have here now? King of Swords. So being truthful, open, and honest. Seven of Swords. So there's that sneaky kind of energy of not being of not being honest. And uh, I, I'm feeling like if you haven't been being honest with yourself or in whatever situation you're in, it's time to be in the King of Swords energy. To be to be honest, clear, cut away things no longer serving you. Open, honest communication, clear thinking, clarity, kind of energy, standing up for yourselves, cutting away this toxic, uh, deceitful energy. And that may be the um, decision you need to make because now you have the two, uh, I'm sorry, the judgment in reverse. Again, it was needing to make a final judgment call, but it's in reverse. So it's like the two of swords not being able to make that decision. But... Uh, it has to be made eventually you will have to make it and the judgment is about forgiveness of things of the past and that can be also about soulmates so you know healing and forgiving like maybe a soulmate relationship here and that could be friends family lover whatever here but a decision has to be made to you know do that to heal have harmony peace and harmony healing forgiveness then on the bottom here, we do have temperance. So this is about peace, harmony, forgiveness, patience, balance kind of energy. Now we have the king, queen of swords. So kind of cold, cutting energy. And then the queen of cups. So this is like two opposing energies. You see the queen, how cold and calculating she looks. And how the uh, queen of cups looks very peaceful, harmonious, compassionate. And then you have temperance right here. So this is like needing to balance out energies here within you, within whatever this is for you, relationships or whatever, needing to balance that energy out. Yeah, it's a fight. It's a struggle with the five of wands, conflict. But then you have the ace of cups. So I feel, you know, and the ace of cups is usually a brand new beginning in love, but then we have uh, the queen of wands, which is the fire energy, Leo Sag Aries. So um, I think you'll be more in line with yourself, self-love and worth moving forward. A more loving, compassionate energy. If you can get over conflict here, balance out these two energies of being cold, you know, and distant, and then in that fire, in that loving, um, compassionate energy, and heal and balance energies here. So, I mean, some of you could be coming single with the Nine of Pentacles energy here, stable and grounded, off all on your own. Um, being aligned, being in more loving, compassionate, caring, peaceful energy, getting over conflict, balancing out these two energies of cold energy, 
to carrying uh, compassionate, peaceful energy and balancing that energy out with the temperance angel here. Temperance angel usually does bring soulmates together or you could just help to heal soulmate relationships, whatever they are for you, fire signs. Well, fire signs, so best of luck to you and sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.